Hey guys. So it's been a few minutes since I made a video. Um, and so where have I been? Where have I been? Um, I had surgery. I had sinus surgery. So I've been recovering. I took like a whole month off of doing basically anything. Um, and I'm just now getting back into doing DoorDash. Um, so yeah, it's, um, my second dish week back, I guess you could say last week I only worked like six hours. So technically we'll just say it's my first week back, but I started at nine o'clock. It's already almost 10 30. I've only had one order. So I'm a little irritated by that, but um, as you can see, my hair has changed. I'm working on going blonde, um, but because I did like a self hair remover, color remover thing, um, it kind of damaged my hair. So when I went to the salon, she said that it's gradually gonna have to um, get lighter and lighter. Um, because of all of the orange tones in it because if they just straight up bleach it that it's probably still gonna be orange and my hair will probably fall out so I've been doing um, all the things they said the only thing I haven't been able to find is some sort of protein thing um, she said there's some sort of leave-in conditioner you can put on your hair that has proteins in it so I'm still looking for that I'm gonna have to do a little more research on it I haven't really been looking that hard but I did buy um, the I ended up going with sheer blonde because I just went with what was cheapest right now um, because it's supposed to help get the brassiness out of your hair which is the orange part I'm also thinking I might just have them um, cut my hair when I go back in like just a little off it's not gonna take all of the dark out there'll still be some but I think it'll help start getting it more to this color up here than the dark um, it was a lot lighter on the day of like when I first did it um, and it's it's not as orange as it was so if I remember I will put in a before shot um, now so if you see as you've seen it was like super orange and now it's like starting to look a little more strawberry blonde which um, is what we're going for at first and then we're going to work on getting blonder um, don't ask me why I want to go blonde it's just was something that I've been thinking about for a while um, and so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna work on going blonde I've I just want a change I've had black hair for years or at least darker brown hair um, so I just I want to go light. I want to go light, 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 light. So, as we move towards blonde hair, let's move on with my medical stuff. <laughs> um, so, yes, sinus surgery went well. Still a lot of tenderness in my nose. Um, most days I can breathe better. When pollen is, like, really high... I still have trouble breathing, but that's because I'm allergic to every single possible airborne environmental allergen there is that they test for. So all these trees, all of this grass, everything in this state, and I'm not saying it's just this state, but that's all they tested me for was the things in this state. 
I'm allergic to it all. All of it. Allergic to every type of mold there is. Allergic to every type of um, fungus. Um, I'm allergic to animals mainly like they test for cats dogs and rabbits I think I'm allergic to them all I'm allergic to they test for cockroaches I don't understand that I don't have them in my house so I'm not really that worried about it but I'm allergic to them <laughs> so I'm allergic to literally everything so <sighs> Um, I'm thinking I might go and have the food allergy test done because there's been a lot of things that have started to really bother me lately. I'm also thinking of getting tested for lupus um, because just being in the sun causes my skin to like rash. Like you probably can't see it because it's sunny, but like I have a rash that's developing here just from sitting in my car in the sun um, so I think I'm going to see about getting tested for lupus because um, someone told me that is one of the signs of lupus I don't know what else um, what other things you have when you have lupus I'm sure if I googled lupus I might be able to tell you for sure if I have more than that but yeah the rash thing was something that was brought up to me that you know because I always tell people I'm allergic to the Sun and they they don't understand like I seriously feel like I'm allergic to the Sun because anytime I'm in the Sun I get a rash and it's like it's so itchy and it doesn't just happen on my arms like I have it on the back of my neck from when we were outside the other day um, and it doesn't just go away once I get out of the Sun it will stay there for a couple of days if I stay inside but having to go out and stuff like that it doesn't it just doesn't get better it doesn't get like much worse than what it is now it's just a small itchy rash but at the same time it's not very pretty to look at especially if I scratch it which I've been trying to avoid doing I've been just trying to rub um, when it has an itch instead of scratch because when I scratch it if starts flaking and my skin starts getting more raw so anyway not that you wanted to know that um, other medical things oh um I started an emotional support group pre per not pre per the psychologist recommendation for the bariatric surgery um, so I will have my second session on um, Friday but it's just gonna be a one-on-one -on -one because I'm going to be missing the next session because I will be out of town so I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one so I don't get behind um, with our topics and I bought a book that they recommended I haven't really started it yet but it's um, called life is hard food is easy I believe let me see I have it in my purse but um yeah, life is hard, food is easy. Um, so I got it because it was recommended and I'm going to start reading it. Uh, and hopefully it helps uh, me figure out some things. But um, there was also more books that was recommended, but I really couldn't. I couldn't afford to buy them all, so I picked that one because it's been recommended um, by the in the emotional support group and in my dietitian classes. So I decided, since it was recommended in two spots, I would just go ahead and try it and read it. And yeah, um, 
they're mowing. <laughs> um, there were other things. Um, I oh I have on Monday my next dietitian class, and then I have my one-on-one -on -one mobility. It's where we basically start um, working on an exercise plan for me. And then from that is how I'm going to decide what gym to join. Because right now I've been debating between Planet Fitness and the YMCA. Um, Planet Fitness would be the more affordable option, obviously. Um, but the YMCA offers classes and stuff like that. Um, so I'm... I'm just debating between them because when we lived in Jacksonville, we were part of the YMCA. His work paid for it though, so I never noticed like money missing or anything because they covered all but $20 and that $20 like came out of his paycheck, so we didn't never notice it. Um, anyway, but when we lived in Jacksonville, I did the classes. I did Zumba, mainly Zumba, and I did the, um, it's not called HIT. It's like HIT, but it's more low intensity um, because I would have died if I did a HIT class. But <laughs> um, I did that. I did the low intent, the Zumba, the low intensity version of HIT. And I did yoga. Um, yoga I could only do the one time. Uh, because there was just so many people in the room. And it was so unbearably hot. That I had to like leave in the middle of class to go throw up. Because I was overheating that much. Um, like... And when I got back, it was cool down time. So I like literally just laid there for the 15 minutes of cool down. And by the time that was done, um, it might have not been 15 minutes. I don't know. But anyway, by the time cool down was done, I felt a little bit better and ready for my Zumba class because it was yoga and then Zumba was like literally right after that and maybe if I would have if the yoga and Zumba class would have been on different days I could have done them both um but like or if yoga was after Zumba that would have probably been better but like it threw off my Zumba game like I I didn't have as much energy to really do the Zumba so I was like half assing that class <clears throat> so anyway I say that a lot um what else uh <coughs> I still need to get my blood work done I'm probably going to do that on Monday because I'm not working that day I have a lot to do because I'm going to Oklahoma next week so Monday I am um I got my appointments in the morning. I need to get my eyebrows done. I need to get it. I'm going to do self, the spray tan. I'm not self tanning. Spray tan. <laughs> I ain't doing it myself. Um, and then I need to pack. There were other things I needed to do. But I, I need to, basically I have my allergy, te or allergy just, I have to go get my allergy shot that morning because I won't be there Friday next week. I need to get, oh, I have my dietitian class, I have my mobility class, and then I have to do my blood work. And then, there was something else I needed to do medically, I think. I don't remember but I think I'm gonna get my eyebrows done on Saturday so that um, I'm not like all broken out and stuff for the spray tan um, 
see. I really think that's everything, guys. That basically catches you up with where I've been and what's going on and what's coming up. And, um, and I really don't want to edit this, so I'm just going to have it done now. It's going to be a 16-minute video, probably. And I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, any questions you have, any comments you have, anything you just want to say to me, please just leave it below. I will respond, I promise. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.